Hi, I'm Alex Lito, CEO and co-founder of Efficient Power Conversion. And today we're going to talk about cost-effective automotive LiDAR systems for long-range and short-range applications and how gallium nitride field effect transistors and integrated circuits enable these advanced autonomy systems. The current solution for the early stages of autonomous driving use several different types of sensors to achieve the type of low-level autonomy that's available today that's called Level 2 ADAS systems. Ultrasonic sensors are commonly used for park assist. Cameras are used for things like departure warnings, uh, traffic sign recognition, and surround view. Today, radar and LIDAR are used for adaptive cruise control, emergency braking, park assist, blind spot detection, pedestrian detection, and collision avoidance. The limitations of the solutions are a limited range of view, latency and identification, and low resolution. For true autonomy, better, faster, less expensive LIDAR systems need to be developed. With LIDAR, the system can see farther and wider, with much higher resolution, allowing for a true 360 degree view and truly safe autonomy. Now, let's see how this could look on an actual vehicle. First, let's start with what might be the most recognizable system for autonomous cars, the spinning LiDAR system. This unit from Velodyne has a range of about 100 meters and it has a typical accuracy of about plus or minus two centimeters. The resulting image, which you can see here, enables autonomous vehicle control and operation. Now, here's a unit from Septon. And this is a different type of system. It, instead of using a spinning LiDAR, this vehicle uses a MEMS-based LiDAR system, which uses a tiny little mirror to scan a laser beam back and forth and get an image. It can also see about 100 meters, but it can only see at about 120 degrees span. Now, here in the lower part of the grill, we have another type of LiDAR system. This one's from LetterTech, and in their case, they use 16 lasers pointed at different angles in the same plane. The system fires all lasers simultaneously and measures how long it takes for the light to come back. And this provides a very simple inexpensive and instantaneous collision avoidance system. And here we have yet another type of system. This one's from PMD and it's a flashlight R system. It uses vertical cavity surface emitting lasers or VIXELs as a flash bulb. Then a regular camera chip can be used to detect the infrared light coming back and measure each pixel independently. This allows for very high resolution images, uh, but the cost is not much more than a camera chip in your phone. So this technology is ideal for replacing ultrasonic sensors and cameras on our cars. What all these systems have in common is that they use EGAN FETs and ICs from EPC. These devices can be triggered to create high current pulses with extremely short pulse widths, and this leads to higher resolution and longer range for long range LiDAR systems but the ability to switch these devices in picoseconds enables higher resolution at close range for short range ADAS applications. Now, these benefits uh, result in extremely small size and low cost, and GAN is the ideal solution for helping all ranges of LiDAR systems see farther, faster, and better. Now visit us at epc-co.com and subscribe to the EPC YouTube channel for more information.